Another week of training for Task Force Alpha of the Skunk Works Org, and I was eager to give our raccoon squad some fireteam bonding time with a fireteam version of our whetstone event. This would be a fireteam versus fireteam exercise, with the goal of eliminating the opposite team, and the losing team would stay in to face the next opponent. This way teams not doing so well get the most experience from the session. In contrast to very structured training, like running vehicle drop drills, these sessions are a lot more action packed and a lot more fun. We were looking forward to some good fights. We'll have... I'll, I'll text join Charlie and I'll join Alpha for this because uh, they're both short on one member. Bravo though, setting the example for the attendance. Piss asses. <laughs> Nobody likes to show off which one's Bravo. The fire teams of Alpha's Raccoons vary not only in individual experience level, but also on how long they have been playing together as a team. Charlie are the longest serving as a single team, and under the very experienced leadership of Critical Mac, they do well in most situations. Alpha and Bravo though are a mix of old and new members as a result of expansion, and so both can really benefit from the experience of fighting as a team, as well as giving Razor and Zero Exception more leadership time. Zero wasn't here today and also we wouldn't have Delta with us, both Artax and myself would be filling in spots in Alpha and Charlie, with me going to Alpha and Artax going to Charlie. Yeah. Still. So that means Katie's in charge because she's taken over after you. No, 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 no. But we're trying to develop leaders here, so I think, who is a digger? You're, you're second in command of Alpha, right? Yeah, he is now. <laughs> You've been appointed. I just trust you with him more than Very science. Very important <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> And we'll just, you know, we'll fight it out and see how it goes. And I think, just to give uh, us a little bit of settling in time, you know, Bravo and Charlie go first. Roger that. Both teams, you are go, you are go. We're going, so let's go, go, go. So, Bravo would be facing Charlie, and I want to thank Razorbin for sharing video from his perspective. Talk to me on positioning, Razor. Alright, I gotta, I gotta contact way out on the other side. I just took a hit. I'm okay. The external camera shots in this fight are Charlie's side of the field, and we see they immediately split into buddy teams and begin moving. I'm in cover. But I am taking hits. I don't know where from. Ooh, I'm taking hits too. Ooh, contact. I don't see them. But I got sparks around me here. I think they're shooting at me. Bravo continued to play defense at the last segment of the rack, giving Charlie plenty of time to maneuver. I'm going to launch a few grenades. I'm pretty much pinned down on the right side of the carrick. I'm right. afraid to move too far out. I'm on the right side of the carrick, or the, yeah, the body. Charlie, we're probing at Bravo's defenses. Small attacks, but nothing committal. I see them in front of us. Where? Behind the burning thruster of the caterpillar. Two of them's left. No joy. Oh, watch, watch on the left, watch on the left. They went far back to where they started. It appeared Charlie may be falling back, but they still had Overwatch in place. In capped behind them on Resmi. Make sure you duck down, juiced. Cut, get take cover first. And now, with a rush down the center, Charlie was set to attack. Thank you. Bravo would play too defensively on this first run, but this is why we run these exercises. Charlie were making good use of their team and cover. Could they finish things off? Yeah, there's definitely people on the left throwing grenades. <laughs> Corner's close left. Down, close left. I'm also down high. Wonder. I'm down. Yeah, I think we are all done. 
razor had been shrunk wide and high and now needed cover. And he would suffer some terrible luck with his optic failing during the exchange. Oh, my entire crosshair was screwed up. Are we all down? Yeah, oh, we are all down. Roger that. Good work, guys. Good fight, everyone. Good work. But they'd soon get another chance, as Alpha would be facing them next. Bravo, um, if you guys get yourselves patched up, um, Alpha will be coming out to face you next. Oh shit. Objective is just to get to the other side, or...? It's just to eliminate the other team. Okay. And once out on the field, we could examine the cover available. By now, it was dark enough that the lights inside the rack could give us away. And I think both myself and Dig, I prefer to play these kind of situations aggressively anyway. Alright, so Smex, can you get a angle from up here? From where we are uh, in these rocks here? Basically, like what we're looking at here, in my opinion, we've got a much easier advance on the right side. Mm. Like, as we're looking at now, but we'll still need someone as flank cover on the left side. Making sure that no one comes around this way through that open ground. Smex. Uh, just report movements, take out anyone that's out of cover, and we'll just close to try and kill them before they can uh, get any momentum going. Like Chrissy. At the very start, just lay down a little bit of uh, fire with the FS9 to make her think our left is stronger than it actually is. Then run down the length with the Caterpillar and follow Katie and I, and we'll try and sweep up the right flank. Yeah. Sure. Bravo is ready to go. Okay. Roger that, Alpha is ready to go. We are go in three, two, one, go. Go to my go, 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 go. lights that I didn't know it had. One moving left. We've got one out on the left. Roger. Hit. Oh, well, I am down. He's down. Right, I'm moving to join. He's down. Just dang it, I'm down. Sniper got me on the right side. Up on your right now. I think Take I may have double tapped and I apologize. You know, with these ranges, you don't have to mark, so. All on the left, all on the left. I see several of them on the left side. Alright. I'm off to your left, Gareth. Second down, second down at the Carrick. Uh, by the red flare. Chrissy. Chrissy, you never pass in front of someone's rifle. <laughs> Chrissy nope. is very new to raccooning and so still needs to learn about crossing fields of fire. Okay, you can. Okay, flush him push. out, flush him out. Push right. him out. What the heck? Diego was engaging with the grenade launcher, but also indicating a possible position up on the hillside. Why is it there? I'm flanking. Ah, oh, alright. Are we all down? No, I am up. With only one of Bravo remaining, Alpha were almost clear. I have visual. Moving up to your right flank now. I have a contact right here. Hold on. I think he's down. Stand by. Two down behind that last Captain Caterpillar. Good, good, good. Yeah, there's one far dead far left. Alright, he's cleared out. Right, are you down? Watch here. Yeah, I'm down. Is anybody up? Bravo is down. Roger that. Bravo is down. Good fight, guys. Good fight. Oh, we're gonna have... uh, Katie, earlier you said don't walk in front of someone's rifle. Did I walk in front of you? You did while I was firing. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't notice. Could have been desync. We were close together and these things happen. Right on. All right. I'll keep an eye on that. Team, good work. Good work. No casualties. Good fight. Bravo would be up again facing Charlie in a rematch, and this time they would definitely be playing it more aggressively. You are good to go. Good luck to both of you. Ready, go. Go, go, go. Have you seen how they're setting up now? No one's using the right side from this side. This time we are seeing Bravo's perspective from the wide camera too, as they advance towards Charlie. Someone is pushing around that side. Two of them are pushing around the side. The thing is, it are, because it curves around to the left, there's, it, it's like a crescent, right? Like There's a big opening on that side. Mm. puts you at disadvantage for advancing anyway, you know? 
I'll tell you, I've got cover for you. Oh, I'm down. Contact from the left. Both sides had chosen a 3-1 split in their team, with a three-person strong team and a one-person sniper team. Both had even sent their strong teams to opposite sides. Bravo had been engaged by a sniper, but Charlie would soon get the same treatment as well. Here we see Bravo's sniper being chased back by shotgun fire, only to stand and fight upon reaching cover. And a casualty for Charlie. The rest of the team was still moving down that side though. Yeah, I see them. All in the right side. There was a big exchange of fire as Charlie tried to push back to centre. They are launching grenades, careful. Uh, I'm down. Don't avoid it. Ah, oh, shit. I got in capped as well. Juice, are you down? No, I'm still up. Okay. Juice Kiwi was last of Bravo still up, but Charlie had also suffered several casualties this time around. But a final exchange would seal the deal. I'm down. I need now. to. Uh, right. I We're need to be outside. Bravo was down. Roger that. Good work, good work, guys. Good fight. Good fight up both sides. Now, at this point, Smex put in a request to one of our dropships, X Ray 2, for scalpel rifle ammo as he was running low. And we'd also asked for a few other supplies to be brought in too. The intention, though, was for Alpha to fight Charlie next to give Bravo a break. Uh, if you haven't made it back yet, can you bring some P6 mags back with you Get also, it. please? This magical I just left bottle, her though. But then Smex crashed the desktop, and we needed to wait for him to return. Alpha Charlie is all present in the counter for him. kill stream. Roger, we are just waiting. Someone crashed the desktop. We're just waiting for them to try and get back in. Go for Raccoon Actual. X-ray 2 is on site for rearm and resupply in the back of the Pisces. Oh, Roger's seen. Okay, on my way. And his ammo arrived, but alas, now he didn't need it. Scalpel is here. <laughs> yeah, put it, in. <laughs> put it in the box. Look at that. You, look at that. You even brought us a box. God damn it. Amazing. And... There will be scalpel ammo in there, so you can use the scalpel and have another long run. Appreciate that, X2. Thank you very much. Anytime, Rick. Smex would need some time to return to us, and there were better ways to make use of it on our end. Charlie, um, this is Alpha. Um, one of the, our member has loaded back in, but he's back at crew at once, so he needs to travel here. Um, I mean, in the meantime, we could have Bravo come out again, I suppose. Um, just until, you know, he gets back and then we'll run the next round will be Alpha and Charlie, maybe. So in the meantime, we get Bravo and Charlie back out to fight again, with the plan for Alpha to fight Charlie after this one was finished. Bravo were heading out onto the field again, and already their teamwork was getting sharper, but could they claim victory in this round? I see Muffin. Yep. Back down. So the round began with both teams committing fully to the right. I kept looking over to see if Charlie was sending someone to flank, but they were determined to hold the right. Alright, we're adapting to this. But it would actually be Charlie that broke cover first, attempting to bound out further to the right. Contact down. down. On the ground. Oh, in our 19 grenades, because... Bravo, we came to kill, but Charlie were ready to repay the favor quickly. I took a headshot, Mammoth's down. Yeah, I see them, but if you can see your way, my face is going. Go, I'm gonna go res Mammoth, you guys keep fire. Oh, damn. 
And Juice Kiwi would also need rescue. Yeah, can you can you get juiced up? Altier, are you good? Yeah, I'm good for now, but I need uh, you guys to push. They're all looking at me. Alright, what I can see. Where are they? Uh, in the same place. Yeah, oh, behind the, the rock. I just got in cap from behind a rock. They're on us. Bravo were in danger of getting bogged down again at these rocks, but they adapted to the situation and split a strong team off to push left. Did you see? Yeah. Juiced was able to take down another before the fighting got very close range. Artex got me again. Oops, but one of them's down. Uh, somebody just ran past me. Behind you, behind you. Put him in behind you. And then only Artax the sniper remained. And by some amazing good fortune, Razorburn was able to spot him on the hillside out there. If you can revive me, guys. I know I have pals so my head completely black. Charlie is down. Yeah! Okay, good fight, guys. Good work, both teams. Good work, brother. Um, we'll get Charlie to recover and then we'll send Alpha out against Charlie. I took out their first one. So we were getting ready to have Alpha face Charlie as we'd not fought each other all night. Because we're starting from here, basically, aren't we? A little bit of debris. But the server god said it was not meant to be, and so that particular matchup will have to wait for another session. Ah, oh, 30k. Right now at Skunkworks, we are prepping for another run at the in house event Skunkopoly, set to launch after 3.17.2 goes live. And so getting the chance to sharpen up our team skills in Alpha is definitely on our minds. We may be fighting each other during training like this, but it's good to know that we're all on the same team when Task Force vs Task Force events roll around. The last Skunkopoly was covered in part on the channel, but as it was only a trial run and it ended quite abruptly, I didn't have enough video to make the third video which would have been the last in that run. Task Force Charlie are the current champions though. As always, I want to thank all of you at home for watching and send out a huge thank you to all of our amazing patrons who you can see on screen right now. Thank you all for the very generous support you provide me and the channel. Patrons like you are what make these videos possible and I am hugely grateful to all of you for the help. If you are thinking of starting Star Citizen yourself, you can use the referral code in the description below to gain an extra 5,000 credits when signing up for a new account.